What is going on, folk? It's Nimblethaw here, and welcome to Merry Mo Leak, which is a brand new game from Load Complete with the developers of the Fisher Cat, which is an absolutely fantastic, fun, casual game that I covered here in the channel back in 2018. But this is a new game from these developers, and as always with these developers, the graphics are simple, but the art style is very polished, and the game runs extremely smoothly with only very short load time, so it's definitely a very high quality game. Looks like we're losing this match though! That was so close. In terms of the gameplay, Merry Mo Leaks plays very much like Cats or Crash Arena Turbo Stars, but with a bit more of active gameplay in there, in that we use skills during combat, that drops off items that will then help our warriors, and timing those is really crucial, and I think that's why we lost the match just before. We should have been a bit more careful with them, so let's go into one more here. We get to pick between two different warriors to take into a battle, this one has a skill called Pommel, which rapidly swings their weapon six times to deal damage. Okay, so that seems somewhat beneficial, but this one here is even better because it heals 5% of your total HP for three seconds. I know for a fact that that one is really, really great, so we're gonna enter with that one, select that one, and go for a battle. So just like in Crash Arena Turbo Stars, these battles, they do take place automatically once we're in here. So this game is all about upgrading your totem pole back home, making your character stronger, upgrading your different abilities, your different skills, and then just seeing these uh, these these combats here unfold. Now I'm gonna drop off a stone here to help our little guy. Come on, deal. Yes, 286 damage, and we're gonna heal him up a bit. And we're gonna drop off this lightning shock here, which is gonna shock the enemy. Look at this, guys. We're doing amazing here. We don't even need the ability that our warrior has, which is the healing one. Look at that, and we won. How easy. So as you guys can see, being really careful about when we use these skills, where we want to drop off these items, can really make the difference between winning and losing. So now, as a reward, we got some uh, crafting materials that we can use once we go back here to our hometown and go in here to the totem craftsman. We can have him create a new totem pole for us. So let's do that right now. Let's load him up with some different types of materials. How do you say about maybe something like this? And let's go craft this item. It's gonna take between three to five minutes. This one's gonna take three minutes. We can finish it immediately, obviously through spending premium currency, but we don't really wanna do that. There's no need to, really, it's only three minutes. This is our totem pole, by the way. This is currently adding 43 to our attack power and 525 to our HP. So from this screen, we can also pick which specific sections our totem pole should be made up of. For example, the great bat wings here, or we can go in and upgrade the existing ones. It's gonna cost quite a bit of gold though, so maybe we should go back here and collect some of this gold that has automatically been collected, by the way. So now we can go in and actually upgrade it. I do wanna wait though for this one over here to finish. So let's just spend one of these pearls to now see what we're gonna get here. Hopefully it's a rare one. Let's see, it was a rare one, the great bat mask. So that one must be better than what we currently have on us. So what we currently have on us, at 28 in attack power and zero in HP. And this new one adds 30 in attack power and all debuff resistance 2%. So we definitely wanna use that one instead. So let's, let's drag that over here. Let's see if we can do it properly. There we go. And now we can go in and upgrade it for just 250 gold. So let's do that to get some more attack power. So now I believe we're ready to head in to one more match here in the jungle silver arena. So it looks like this time we have another warrior that also has that healing skill. And we've got a new one here, which has a leap attack. The leap attack, by the way, is really strong. So whenever you get a warrior who has a leap attack, definitely pick that one. I'm really liking this game, by the way, in case you shouldn't have noticed so far. The game is fun. There's a great selection of different skills, of which we select a few to take with us into battle. I'm gonna go show you guys that as the last part of showcasing this game after we have won this match, because I'm pretty confident... Oh, wait, we don't want to drop off the, the apple just yet, because I'm pretty confident that we will actually win this one. Let's zap our guy over here. There we go. And look at this. Yes, the leap attack, 519 damage. <laughs> that's that's amazing. 519 damage. This is going to be so easy. Let's drop off a stone here. Oh, he's going to heal up now. He's going to heal up. We won't let him. Come on, we can do this. Come on. Yes, just one more hit. And he's healing up again. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Seriously, some of these battles can drag out quite a bit when you're fighting against someone who has that healing ability. Look at this, though. He's healing too much. No, and we failed. Okay, there it, there, there it goes. There it goes. 268. And one more leap attack. No. Come on. It's, it's so close, though. It, but he's walking closer all the time. There we go. With the final hit. And we've won. Let's see how much gold did we get. I think we got around 300 or 400. Only 160. Okay. 160 gold. That's okay, though. And we got some more materials that we can use to craft new totem poles. So let's start crafting a new one here. Loading it up with some different materials. I want to add more of these stones if I can. Why can't I add more stones? Okay, there we go. So we're at six stones now. Uh, I want to add a few more stones, maybe. 
because I primarily want some new wings. So let's get that. And by the way, the more you craft, the more your little craftsman here is gonna level up. And that means that he'll be able to create even higher level totem, uh, totem poles for us. So now let's go have a look at the different skills we have available, because there are a ton of them. So for example, right now, we're using the Miracle of the Rock, but we also have Miracle of the Sword, we have Miracle of the Axe. Many of these are somewhat similar. I've unlocked the Miracle of the Bow over here, which is gonna drop off a bow that deals 50 damage, so it's less damage than our normal attacks typically would, but it has ranged attack, so I figured that was nice, but actually what I learned is that most of the time we are in very close range of the opponents, so that's not really, it's not really that beneficial. In here we have another set of skills, most of these relate to healing in some sense, but some of them also go into potions that can either deep off the enemies or buff our character. And then lastly, we've got Miracle of Lightning, we've got Miracle of Time, which controls the flow of time to stop the movement of all Marimo warriors for three seconds, which I guess can be useful to, to intercept something, or we may want to use that and then heal up, for example. In those cases, that might be really useful. All of these skills, though, we will first have to unlock, and as you guys can see, some of them are locked behind a certain minimum level, right? So we're only level six right now, we're unlocking some of these new ones at level 16, though. So for now, all that's left to do is just to head into yet another match, and as you guys can see, we're slowly collecting more Marimos, which is our characters here. We have 128 out of 185 that we have to collect here in Silver 1 Arena, in the Silver 1 Arena. And once we get all of those, we will be met with a boss monster, a challenge at the end of the arena. However, when we get into that one, we do not get represented with two warriors to pick from, which makes the whole game feel kind of rigged at that last level, because our warrior will have random stats and random skills, and some skills are definitely better than others. This, I'm guessing, is to not just slowly towards buying some of those inner purchases, which will allow us to get new totem poles and materials faster, and you can very easily spend at least $10 on this game, and more if you really get into it. Still, however, everything can be grinded, and the game is still very enjoyable as a completely free-to-play user. I think you guys will still have fun with it. We aren't forced to watch advertisements, there's no energy system, there's nothing like that to really ruin the game. You just have to live with the fact that sometimes it can feel a bit wrecked. Sometimes you really just feel unlucky, and there's nothing you can really do about that. You just gotta get in there again and, uh, and grind some more, collect some more gold for free, so maybe just stay away from the game for a while. You're gonna get back in there. You have some new gold, you can use that. Remember that you can upgrade your skills. Remember that you can upgrade your totem pole, right? So it's not all about unlocking new aspects of the totem pole, it's also about upgrading existing ones. For example, it would probably be rather beneficial for me to upgrade the Great Monkey Wings right now, so we're gonna do that. There was a rather cheap upgrade, and I'm gonna do the same here for the base. We actually really need a new base. Look at this one, it's, it's rather weak and it's common. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna head into more and more matches, get some more crafting materials, but we're gonna end off the video here with the mobile gaming news of the day, because this is basically it for the game. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. So the mobile gaming news of today is that Summoner's War has now broken through that 100 million downloads milestone. That is rather impressive. Most of those downloads though, 50%, comes from China, Japan, and South Korea. So if you live in Europe, like I do, for example, you may not even have heard too much about the game. But it is still very popular though. If you're a mobile gamer, there's a good chance that you will have heard about it. There's even a good chance that you may have played it at some point. And as a small follow-up fact, the game has become so popular that a new animated TV series is now in the works based on the game IP, the universe, and the characters, with four more Iron Man, Spider-Man, and The Walking Dead writers heading the new series. So even though I don't play Summoner's War personally, the animated show might just turn out to be quite decent. At least it has some great writers, so let's see how it will play out. Regardless of what happens though, I hope you enjoyed this video, and most importantly, until next time, just keep gaming, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys around. Thank you.